Hello, and welcome to this introductory video of the eManage cloud-based software by VendingZoo. In this first training video, we will go through the process of logging into the cloud for the first time. And hopefully doing that, I will be able to answer any security questions. Now, I know you're probably excited about diving into the world of web application security, but before we do that, let me first congratulate you on becoming a business owner. It really is an amazing thing that you've done and a great opportunity. It's also a very courageous step that a lot of people don't take, so you do deserve to be congratulated. In fact, the entire purpose behind the development of eManage was to help you transition into this new business, making it as smooth and convenient as possible, and giving you a tool that was mobile that you could use to easily and conveniently monitor your business. So eManage is designed to let you track your locations and your machines, as well as the product that is selling from those machines, and give you some reporting capability so that you can use that information to make informed decisions. It's also designed and built um, to give you the ability to track machine inventory remotely and monitor the performance of your machines remotely. It's built using modern web technologies, so it will run in all the major web browsers, but it was specifically built using Chrome and the Chrome developer tools. So Chrome is the preferred browser for running your eManage software. All right, so to see the pieces that make up this eManage cloud, let's get started and go ahead and log in. So what you want to do for the first time is go to the HealthyUVending.com website. And what we want to do is log into the online support center. So to get to the support center, simply go into the support option here and click online support center. Now every operator is given credentials to log into the support center. So you want to use those credentials and scroll down to the bottom of the window and click on this support center login so that you can have a login window to enter your credentials. So go ahead and click on that then enter your login and ID and get logged into the support center. Once you're into the support center, you'll have an option to go into vending software. So go ahead and click that. And once you're in the, the software section, you've got the option for your eManage Cloud software. So go ahead and click on eManage Cloud. And when you do, a new tab will open up inside of your browser that will take you to the portal login for eManage. Now the first question that usually comes up is, if I've already logged into the support center once, why do I have to log into the cloud again? And the reason for that is because at this point you could bookmark the cloud and bypass the online support center. You just go to your bookmarks in your browser, bookmark the website, and now whenever you come into your browser you could go directly to the cloud or through your bookmarks go directly to the portal and you can bypass the online support center. So because you can bypass the support center the cloud has to have its own login and authentication process built around it. So that's why you have an additional login into the cloud. Now what you want to do is use those same credentials that you use for the support login for the cloud. And once you've entered in your credentials, go ahead and click sign in. Now, if you accidentally mess something up and type your user ID or password in wrong, as soon as you click sign in, you're going to get a message that says incorrect username or password. And if that happens, you just fix what you think is wrong and then go ahead and sign in again. Once you get signed in, the login window goes away and you are taken into the portal. Now you can think of the portal as sort of like a Windows desktop inside of your web browser. So whatever access or whatever resources you have access to, they will show up inside of your portal for you. So I have access to the Toucan and the Toco applications here inside of my portal. Now what just happened when we logged into the portal is the eManage Cloud gave our browser a cookie. And it told it that that cookie was valid for 10 hours. After 10 hours, the cookie goes stale. But as long as that cookie is valid and in effect, then I do not have to log in to anything else in the cloud as I move around. So for example, if I go ahead and click on Toucan, it opens up another browser tab for me and it loads the Toucan application and I don't have to log in again. 
Likewise, that, bra that portal tab stays open, so I can click back on the portal and I can even go into TOCO, and it doesn't ask me to log in again. So as long as I am logged into the cloud and that cookie is valid, I can move around between applications and I don't have to log back in again within 10 hours. After 10 hours, that cookie goes stale and I would have to log back in again. So this is the balance between security and convenience. To give you that convenience of being able to use your applications while still keeping your data as secure as possible. So to kind of demonstrate that, what I'm going to do is I am going to close down all of the tabs that are making up the eManage cloud. So we've closed them all down and we're back to where we started from with um, inside the support center. And I'm going to click on the eManage cloud button again and we'll see what happens. And I don't have to log in again because that cookie is still valid. So it takes me right into the portal. Now if I were to close the browser down completely with my X and completely shut it down, that, um, that will delete the cookie. So the next time I open up my browser, I will have to log in again. If I want to completely delete that cookie and completely sign out of eManage, and I don't want to close my browser, for example, maybe I have my software opened up on a tablet, and I'm using the tablet, and somebody needs to borrow that, and I want to sign out so that they don't, have, they don't accidentally do something with my data. Underneath your name, over here on the right side, you have a sign out option. And if I click sign out, that will also delete that cookie. So if I do sign out, close down my portal, now if I go back in again, I get to have that login window again. Now the browser will remember your user ID and password if you want it to. So that's an option that you can use as well to make things as convenient as, as you can to log in. So I recommend you can go ahead and let it remember your user ID and password if the device that you do that on is your own private device. Don't do that on a public device at Costco or Best Buy. Okay, so that is a little bit about the, um, the security around eManage Cloud, how you get logged in, and how that security mechanism works to allow you the flexibility and convenience of staying logged in but still keeping things as secure as possible. One other option over here under your name that you may want to take advantage of is this change password option. So you go ahead and click change password and what you would do is type in the current password that you currently have. Then you put in your new password and confirm that password and then go ahead and click change. If you make a mistake or type something in wrong, you will get some messages when you go to change, things like your new password doesn't match or maybe the old password that you're typing in, the current password, doesn't match what the current password is in your server. So then you can just change that. So if you type in your information and you click change and the window goes away, then your new password has been set. Okay, hopefully that helps answer some of the questions on how to get logged into the cloud for the first time. Now, I recommend that you subscribe to the Vending Zoo channel here on YouTube. The subscribe button should be on the left side of the page just under the video. Subscribers will have opportunities to win prizes and enjoy some fun things, but more importantly, as new functionality or new instructions come out, we can notify you when those happen. So I know you're busy and we won't flood you with notifications, but when important changes are made that you need to be aware of, we can notify you as a subscriber. So I recommend you subscribe to the Vending Zoo channel. Thank you, and I hope to see you again in the next video in this training series.